presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Mike in Southern California. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, Tom, nice to talk to you again. And I have to start out and first tell you, I love this trading room. This thing is great. This app, it works great. And uh, getting all the information, it, you're like instantly there. No delay, nothing. That's I know. Great. I Listen, Thank I you appreciate again. your growling problem with us. Your channel is in my pocket all day long. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, man. You Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. So everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your words. Seek to know the truth. When you hear an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement because part of your belief system, the only thing that can break this agreement is to make a new one based on truth. Only the truth has the power to set you free. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 20, NASDAQ up 116, S&P's up 30. Gold, gold contract up $4.20, traded at 2,039 an ounce. We have silver down 6 cents, $24.09 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 11, $72.54 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note, down five ticks, trading 112.08. The 30-year down 16 at 123.09 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 26 ticks, trading 102.579. Euro is at trading out here at a price point of 109. The yen is at 142. British pounds at 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? <laughs> well, we have ABC structures up inside the indices, folks. Check it out. I'm going to put this on a weekly. And these are big ABCs, man. There you go. What do you have out here? I'm going to mark it down for you as your A to B. And your B to B to C is the same day, actually, which is pretty wild. And then you blew it away. You can see on this weekly basis, okay, took it out, took it out with volume. Right now, you're at 472. Now, we haven't even reached the high yet, okay? But the bottom line is that the spies on an ABC structure up to 502. So, big numbers here, man. And I suspect we're going to go. And the real question is, is that, you know, the B to Cs are straight line moves. If this is ever a straight line move out of here, it's really a mind blow. If it isn't, you can have a chance to buy a retracement, but, you know, this could be a straight line move. That would really just uh, <laughs> uh, dumbfound just about every market participant out there, particularly because we just went straight straight up. If you take a look at the Qs, same type of setup. It's a, it's, a, it's a really clean one, too, man. I mean, you know, you have the A to B. It's a straight line move. You pull back slightly, and then bingo. You, you blow away the B point. You blow it away with volume. We're at 407 right now. The Qs, that's 434. You know, so monster numbers out, out here, man. Monster numbers. And you can, you know, see what, what's intriguing here is that we still have we still have Microsoft that is an ABC structure up, confirmed one to 412. And you can see what's going on here. Microsoft's still only at 372. You got AVGO. This is like insanity, man. <laughs> And, you know, Broadcom, uh, this has gone up like $250 in uh, all of uh, five trading days. That's continuing higher. And then your SMHs, they are in another ABC structure up. And this is a monster ABC up also. And this one here is on a monthly basis. You know, so bottom line is that when you have the chip stocks basically taking out highs, you're taking them out with volume, all of the above, you're doing ABC structures up. You know, you get a market that wants higher price. Gold, gold contract. We take a look at the gold. Con well, here, now let's do bonds first. You take a look at the bond market. 
what you're going to see inside the bond market is that the bottom line has been going up with 2.1 million, 2.8 million contracts. And you're pulling back with 976. Um, that's the 10 year. 10 year right now is an ABC structure up to the 114, 115 area. That is going to bring the bottom of the consolidation for the yield, folks, is 3.24. And I suspect that's where we're going. Right now, you're at 3.9. We go to the uh, gold contract. Gold contract's looking for 2,500. You know, it's gonna, it'll, it'll take a bit to get there. But the bottom line is that right now you're at 2,040. You have that high volume swing out there from a couple weeks ago. That's at 2,103. That's going to get tested at least. Uh, and my take is that we're going to continue going. Why? Because as we go over here, we take a look at the dollar. The bottom line is that, you know, the dollar came down fast and furious. Now you're building a, some cause where we are, which makes sense, okay? You know, it only can go down and up so, so much, okay? And, you know, this dollar is on its way down to 99. And that's on a, on a shorter term basis. We'll see if it holds the 99. If it doesn't hold the 99, it's going to 89, <laughs> okay? There is the 99 right here, you know? So that, you know, you're already in the, the smaller trading range. Uh, so bottom line, that's, that's where we're going. We take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. And when we did have um, option expiration on Friday, it was a, a 5.4 trillion notational value. And if you want to see some volume, check this out, man. And this is, this is important to understand, too, is that, you know, when you get option expiration, if you, go, you have a lower day and you get volume, well, that's where you want to go. You see this on the NYSE, we did 3.9 billion shares. And on the composite, we did 8.5, I think. Yeah, 8.8. 8. We did 8.8. .8. So monster numbers out there. Some of the high of, oh, US, uh, US Steel. This is kind of ironic, actually. US Steel's, you know, when we grew up, US Steel was like the premier company in, industrial company in the United States. Bottom line, they're getting bought by Nippon Steel for 50 bucks a share. Uh, nice premium. No, no doubt about that. What I suspect what that's all about, folks, is guess what? That infrastructure bill, you know, that infrastructure bill that already had got passed, that was passed under the Inflation Reduction Act. Okay, how do you like that for a couple words? Uh, bottom line, that's a 10 year deal, meaning there's going to be money that's poured into infrastructure for 10 years. So you can see why companies want to buy other infrastructure companies, because that is some kind of a run rate, man. There's no two ways about it. And then we get into the gold market. What you're going to see in the gold market, gold market last week had a huge sound of strength. Bottom line, came back to, it came back to a sound of strength, did it with light volume, teetered, almost broke down, and then just took off like a rocket ship as soon as the, you know, Fed came out Wednesday. And uh, bottom line, you know, rate cycle's over. The Fed's out there kind of yapping away uh, as much as they can, like, oh, no, hold it, hold it, we, we, we're not going to get out on that quick. Well, guess what? The market's going to send them down, folks, meaning the 10-year. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 24, NASDAQ up 115, S&P's up 30. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes. Tigers, tis the season for leveling up your trading skills. Basil Chapman is happy to offer all opening call subscribers a free subscriber webinar Wednesday, December 20th, 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Basil Chapman will be discussing major sectors and stocks that are coming off their lows in order to prepare your portfolio for 2024. This is a free webinar for all opening call subscribers. If you are not yet a subscriber, visit the front page of TFNN.com today to secure your spot for Wednesday, December 20th. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 26. NASDAQ up 120. S&Ps are up 30. Let's get over to my man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve does an outstanding show here every trading day, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Also, is a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter, folks. Just come over to our website at TFNN. You know, right in the newsletters, you can see Mastering Probability on the right-hand side. You get Rassman Probability for one month for $149, six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%, and one full year for $1195, which is a savings of $593 or 23%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Steve has a huge amount of tools on his site, okay? So when you get the newsletter, you get the tools, you get the explanation, you get the whole ball of wax, and it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? I'm in. I'll buy. I'll have to give it a shot. That's right. That's right. I like it. I like it. Hey, yeah. So uh, I, no, I, I don't know. Did you guys get that the storm as bad as as we got it over here? I don't know. Was anybody spared in Florida? I don't think so. Uh, St. Oh, Pete wow. got it pretty bad. I mean, the, the, those flood areas in St. Pete flooded again. So they, they, okay. thank God that most of the homes. What happened, folks, is that was it Ida, which is a uh, I think. Four months ago or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, that right. they got wiped out on that, and then and then this one here though is about an inch of water. But those folks are going to be moving pretty soon because well, it's the the wind that we had over here was <laughs> extraordinary. I mean, it it was like we had a hurricane. Yeah, uh, you know, yeah. A tropical storm. I mean, a lot of damage, a lot of power outages. I was mean, there's it? still people yeah. without power. Um, yeah, it was. It Winter was storms are tough, man. That's 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 the bottom line. You know that that water kicks up, man. And forget it. I, I've never heard the wind howling like that. I mean, oh, I was like, what yeah, the heck? you guys must have really got hit. We we had we had like 30, 35. It wasn't you know. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. No, and then and then you know gotta love gotta love Florida, right? Because you get that storm and whoosh, it blows right out of here. You know, you got perfect, almost perfect weather, and the sun you know, comes out. No, I know, right? It's, it's I'm still chilly thing. though because look at see you get you only you, you get a shirt on. Cold. I got a freaking yeah. shirt and a sweatshirt on here. I just took I just took my sweatshirt off. I see. Okay, <laughs> just, just, I got just it. For the show. I it's, got it. Okay, it's, it's, good. It's a little cool, but uh, yeah. hey. So last week when we did our segment, there was a tiger that rode in afterwards. Yeah. And he asked if the patterns that that you know we talk about here, uh, the patterns that I use and I teach, if they're yes. present at market tops. So I thought we'd do today is just take a look at the last several years, try to answer. That that question cool. uh, for this uh, tiger. And so to start with, uh, here is the Dow. So we're just going to take a look at the Dow. Last week we were talking about the Dow. Uh, that was really what the question was about was the Dow. And uh, what's the matter? We don't have my screen. Oh, that's interesting. Give me a second here, Tom. Let's see if this works. There we go. Okay, so now we should have my screen. Perfect. Yes. So yep. now we can take a look at it. Okay, so in 2022, the actual high for 2022 came in on January 5th of 2022. To answer this Tiger's question, there was a TD9 count top that was present at that high. When we get our normal October uh, rally uh, out here, that came in on October 13th. And that came in with the Rhodes Mintum Indicator bottom. Now, that was not what the question was. The question was basically the high for the year. Uh, at, at the highs for the year, are any of the tools that I use present at those tops? And so the answer to that question was yes. We got a nice real rally, really nice rally off that October low that we can see here. And that topped out on December 1st. And that was a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. So that's got uh, two of the patterns that we take a look at that were present in 2022. If we go back to 2021, the Dow didn't top until November 8th. Of, of 2021. But the pattern that was present was a TD9 count top. So the answer to that question for 2021 is yes. At the market to high during that year, there was uh, one of my patterns. Now, we'll see my other patterns throughout the newsletter, but I'm just focusing on this uh, Tiger's question. Yes. The question, uh, then we take a look at 2020. The high didn't come in until December 31st out there. So in that case, uh, there was no pattern that was present at the ultimate high for 2020. We can see TD9 count tops back here in June. That led to a retracement, another one in September. And that September one ended up uh, forming that October bottom with a buy the D point pattern, patterns that you and I discuss. If we take a look at 2019, the high didn't come in until December 21st, tw I'm sorry, December 27th of 2019. And uh, there was no topping signal or anything that was present at that stage. If we take a look at 2018, the actual high for the year came in on October 3rd. And that high had generated a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. We take a look at the high uh, that came in in January. That was a TD9 count top. We can see Rhodes Mintum indicator bottoms, TD9 count bottoms at the lows. If we take a look at the typical October uh, low that we have, much like we've got this year, that was on October 29th. That was a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom. So we can say to that uh, tiger, yes, uh, these patterns are present at uh, tops, are also present at bottoms. In 2017, the high didn't come in until, until December 18th of 2017. That did actually have a Rhodes Mintum indicator top that was present at that stage. In 2016, the high came in on December 15th. That was a TD9 count top. We can also see during the year, we can see two other Rhodes Mintum indicator tops, one back in, looks like the April time frame, another in the August time frame that's out there. If we go to 2015, the actual high came in on May 20th. 2015. That was a TD9 count top. We had a nice rally off of a uh, bottom in uh, in uh, August of that year. That formed a Rhodes Mintum indicator top out there. So that takes us to where we're at today. So the answer to the question is yes, uh, my tools are present at tops. That doesn't mean when one of those tools triggers a topping signal that that's going to be the ultimate top, but they are present at tops. But that takes us to where we're at today. And when we take a look at where we're at today, and it really just kind of uh, follows up to what you were saying at the opening of your show, I don't have any kind of a top here in the Dow. Not today, I don't have a top. But there could be a TD9 count top. Certain things have to happen between tomorrow and uh, Thursday of next week. Uh, I'm sorry, Thursday of this week. So just to recap here, from the 126-year seasonal cycle, the Dow has entered its final, we're over on the right-hand side here, yeah. it's entered its final bullish uh, cycle here. That typically ends right around January the 5th. So this is the average over the 126-year period. This is a weekly line chart for the Dow and the semis. And if we take a look at those vertical lines, you'll see that the Dow is not going to top without the semis topping as well. So it's important to understand what's going on there. If I take a look at the semis, 
just like the Dow, they do not have topping patterns today. They could. They've got a bunch of work to do, but they could form TD9 count tops by Wednesday. This is the Dow is at new all-time highs, folks, in terms of dollars, euros, yen, pounds, and Aussie dollars. That's as of this morning. That's a real bullish market. Because on all those traders' desks, they're at new all-time highs. They're not sellers. They're buyers. Lastly, here's the Dow. Here's the daily, the weekly, and the monthly chart. This really is suggesting potential caution as we come into the beginning of the year out there. Kind of fits with that January 5th-ish type cycle high. And what I mean by that is on a weekly basis, we're likely to get a TD9 count top that comes in play at the end of this year. So... The Mastering Probability tools, just to answer that question, they are present at top software. You know, you know what's so cool, Steve? That, folks, it, it, all of us, we love this business because it's life's a mystery to be lived, not a problem to be solved. And that, totally. That is so freaking cool, man. Totally. <laughs> I mean, seriously, totally, right? Yeah, absolutely. Have a great one, man. Okay. Right. Take care, Tom. <laughs> successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Tigers, tis the season for leveling up your trading skills. Basil Chapman is happy to offer all opening call subscribers a free subscriber webinar, Wednesday, December 20th, 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Basil Chapman will be discussing major sectors and stocks that are coming off their lows in order to prepare your portfolio for 2024. This is a free webinar for all opening call subscribers. If you are not yet a subscriber, visit the front page of TFNN.com today to secure your spot for Wednesday, December 20th. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 22. You get the NASDAQ up a buck 20. S&Ps are up 31. 
And you know, it's pretty wild there, folks. Uh, across the headlines in a Bloomberg, it has team owners play hardball with cities and fans for stadium deals. Now, <laughs> uh, you know, a sports stadium doesn't feel like just another piece of city real estate. It means having a home team to root for. It's one of the few venues that can host big events such as the Super Bowl or Taylor Swift. <laughs> but these uh, steel and concrete giants are also bargaining chips in the fight for limited public uh, financing and uh, inside of here, the first, the first, the first city they have on here is St. Pete. Because what happened, what has happened is it's been going on forever. The Tampa Bay Rays, um, and this is literally right down the street from where we are. It's actually right where I build. Um, but what has happened is that uh, Pinellas came up with 600 million for the for a new Rays stadium. So there's been, you know, back and forth between, you know. Tampa is definitely bigger than St. Pete, uh, but the difference is Tampa's not a walking city and it's more spread out and you have, you definitely have more jobs because more office buildings, but the problem is, is they, don't, they don't live where they are. So, you know, it empties out, still empties out, where St. Pete doesn't empty out at all. Uh, but anyway, we, we have the stadium, so what the, this article's about is that, yeah, that's going to keep St. Pete on the... Uh, you know, map for another 30 years. There's no doubt. This is going to be, you know, a big deal. And you know, it's amazing. And I knew, I, you've heard me say this on the on the year before, that the guy that owns the, the Rays, he retired from Goldman Sachs at 32. Really successful, big time. And inside of the contract, okay, there's 85 acres downtown. Okay, 85 acres. Think, there's not a lot of downtowns that have 85 acres, period. Okay, you know, with a blank sheet. And the part of the lease that he had the whole time, even when he was negotiating, you know, was that he can basically be part of the structure of the, you know, anything that's done on those. And I, I was always saying that he's never going to give this up, man, that, because the, the real estate deal is worth more than the, the raise is worth more than all of it. And sure enough, that's exactly what ended up happening. And then to make the icing on the cake, though, this gets even better. He hooked up with uh, the folks out of Dallas, and they're they're a great they're a great firm too. What was their name? Oh, the Heinzes. The Heinzes out of Dallas. Okay, they've they're like experienced beyond belief in this business, man. I was, you know, I've been following them since I've been like 25 years old. Um, and the bottom line is that now they're also doing the whole development deal. Uh, so I, I can see, you know, you can, you can see, but can, can you imagine, imagine being a business. This is what's really wild. Imagine being a business. And the business, where you talk about supply and demand, that the, the demand is so heavy that you can say to the, the counties or the cities that, hey, listen, man, I want to build a new stadium. It's going to be state-of-the-art stadium. I'm going to make all the money on the stadium now. But I want you to come up with 600 million or a billion. <laughs> Is it? Um, it happens. It happens uh, day and night, and you know. It is what it is. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm elated myself that, that it happened. Okay, because because the bottom line is, huge amount of jobs, huge amount of, yeah, everything. It, it, it's gonna it's gonna be. It, it'll change the city again. That's the bottom line, because I remember in Boston, you know. At Fenway Park, Fenway Park, you know, the Boston Red Sox. I, I believe they went, they went so many games by sold out. They were breaking records all over the place. But when I was a kid, no one went to the games. My father parked cars over there as a second job, so I, I was always over there. And the the most amount of people in Fenway Park. Now I'm, I'm talking about 1960, 61, 62. Well, like three or four thousand people, you know. I saw Ted Williams get his last home run. There was only 4,000 people there. 4,000 people, okay? Crazy, okay? And then what ended up happening is that the Lions brothers came in, and on Yawkey Way, if you're familiar with Fenway Park, <coughs> Yawkey Way is like a whole entertainment center. <coughs> well, these were two private entrepreneurs. They came in. They started opening clubs, and that was the beginning of when you're going to an event, it was more of an entertainment and you didn't even have to go to the event. And that's how what ended up happening over in Fenway and the fans and all of that. 
over and over again, the entertainment. And so, of course, you know, now what you get is that Camden Yards was built, uh, same type of deal, um, you know, old park, a lot of entertainment, and uh, now they're big entertainment centers, you know. And baseball, football, you know, if we stick with baseball, uh, you know, is, is definitely part of it. But it's all out of the commerce that goes around it, plus housing, that actually makes it happen. You know, so it's it's and in Florida. So listen to this. This is a trip because now it, for folks that figure out, okay, where do you get the six hundred million? Well, what happens? This we're so lucky in Florida. We pay a bed tax. Well, the tourists pay a bed tax. The bed tax in Florida, folks. Okay, I'll Google it in between. Uh, in Pinellas County, is like astronomical, man. The amount of money they take in every year, I mean, is over the top. And now that what that is used for, that is used to go right back into the economy in order to get more business, you know? So you can see how it works. Economy-wise, pretty cool how the whole thing comes down. Okay, so some of the higher vol. well, here, let's do the XAU, the HUI, because gold's on the run. You had the XAU as well as the XAU, as well as the HUI last week, you first you came under the breakout area. You did it with light volume. And then last Wednesday, it exploded topside with volume, got on the other side of the higher range once again. And like the, the XAU, we're trading 124. That thing's on its way up to the you know 150 area. We go to the gold bugs index. We take a look at the gold bugs index. Same setup. You had a false break downtown. There's the there's the break downtown. You go uptown. Right now the gold bugs index you're at 240. That's on its way to like the two. What is it? Two. Let me pull this back a little bit more. Whoops. Right there. Yeah, this one here is at 255, 260. You know, there's, there's big numbers out here. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up nine, NASDAQ up 106, SP's up 28. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. 
That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow's up 8, Nasdaq's up 104, S&P's up 28. So the bid tax in Pinellas, folks, last year collected $98 million. And then Hillsborough, so Hillsborough's Tampa, we have all those different counties, $61 million. So you can see... Uh, those numbers add up in a monster way. Pinellas, it collects more because in Pinellas, that's where all the beaches are, folks, okay? So uh, bottom line, you can see that, that number, how it goes. So when we take a look at uh, interest rate structure out here, what you've seen since last Wednesday, you see the pundits that, you know, really either got caught on the wrong side of this or, you know, are saying that, no, no, inflation's still out here, you know, yap, 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 and all this. So you get Bill Dudley, uh, you know, who bottom line is that, you know, he was in charge of the New York Fed, which is the biggest one. He's, you know, he, he's gone now. But the bottom line is that he's out here saying, OK, Jerome Powell's pivot is a pretty big gamble. OK, so the Federal Reserve uh, and it's uh, betting that they can have the best of both worlds, that they'll be able to defeat excess of inflation without an economy, without the economy going into it. Recession. I hope it goes well. Unfortunately, there's still a significant change. Chance it won't. The thing that is uh, amazing to me uh, when you look at a lot of the articles that are being written the last few days, folks, okay, is that the 10 year rate and the 30 year rate moved before the Fed moved. So it's like, you know, it's intriguing because it's like, okay, do these folks actually look? at the bond and note market because the movement was already made you know the we topped out if you take a look at this for a second i think it was on the 19th of october right 10 year yield put this up okay so yeah here's here's the top out right there right what is that, the 19th? I think it's the 19th or the 17th, okay, of October. You know, we're way down here. Like, yes, we moved with conviction on Wednesday, but when you take a look at the move, the move was already made, man. I mean, in a huge way. Now, watch this. I'm going to put this up, and we will put this on a three-year. Okay, cool. So now I got it on a three year. Now watch this. This is just the opposite. And this is exactly what I'm talking about here. Okay, so see this right here? This is when rates, this is before rates, we, the, the Federal Reserve start going up on rates in March. March is way up here. Yeah. March is when, so the, the market itself had already taken a 10 year from 1.1 up to 1.7. And then the Fed start going up. That's my point, that the market itself is way ahead and has been ahead of the Fed. And then when you take a look at this chart, you're going to see, you know, us being in the tech analysis business. It's like, hey, man, you know, the bottom of this range is where it's at because you already broke into the range. And you broke into the range with conviction. Conviction, folks, okay is wide price spread accelerated volume. 
And that's exactly what we did. If you're watching Tiger TV, you can see the size of that bar. It's a huge bar. You know, it was inching into the into the lower range, and then ba boom, it gets hit it. And the thing that's really going to be intriguing is this: as we go forward, now the bottom of this range is 3.24, and we're at 3.94 right now. So when we get down there, I suspect what's going to happen is that there's there's some good support there. Okay. That being said. There's not a huge amount, man. Um, you know, you're talking, you know, about four or five months. You break that, pfft, there's no reason you, you can't go down lower. So, and the, in the context of why it's going down, and Powell said this flat out, the bottom line is that it's, it's not the Fed's job to be restrictive when if inflation's not there, you should be neutral. Just going back to a neutral rate means that you're going back to a neutral rate so that you're not either squeezing the market or, which the, they've been doing for you know a long period of time when we got the pandemic, putting money into the market in order to basically support the market so the market go higher. All in all, you know, We'll, we'll keep hearing this, uh, you know, as to the aspect, okay, when, when are they going to go down? But um, the market itself is going to do it. And then if we go take a look at their meetings, what you're going to see, let's see, we got the meetings. Is that? There we go. We bring this up. So next meeting, February 1st. So this is how this is the setup going into 2024. February 1st, March 22nd, May 3rd, June 14th. You know, and the real question is going to be that you know no one's looking for them to go down in March. I mean in February, but they are looking for them to you know cut uh, and and March. And right now the Fed fund rate is still at. Uh, let's see. 4.5 to 5, I think. No, the target rate. Yeah, no, the target rate is 5.5. We're at 5.5. Yeah, so picture that here. It, that's the overnight rate. Okay, that's the target rate. 5.5. So. U.S. Steel. U.S. Steel, folks, is getting taken over by Nippon Steel. Uh, out of Japan, and this is all about the, in, you know, the inflation reduction bill out there, infrastructure. You can see what happened here. U.S. Steel's up ten dollars, forty-nine dollars fifty-one cents. They got to buy a cash cash out at fifty, I believe it's fifty bucks. And then, yeah, you're gonna have. Uh, there's no doubt. Well, Featherman. Uh, the thing that's amazing, actually, about this, there's no doubt, I was, when I was talking with Jacob upstairs before we came down, you know, is that when, we were, when I was a kid, 14.1 billion uh, deal, is that, you know, U.S. Steel, I, was, I remember when, you know, Kennedy was president, I think they, he ordered them back to work because U.S. Steel was so important to the economy. Uh, and uh, Senator Fetterman is uh, going out of his mind out there because there's no doubt that Pittsburgh, you know, U.S. Steel, um, big number, man. <laughs> Um, you know, us to and U.S. Steel, let's just see what they take in. So, and, okay, so they take in $17.8 billion a year. They make $4.20 to the bottom line. They're still growing. They're, look at this. They're growing by 15%. In North America, they're growing 6% in Europe. And uh, they finally got flat-rolled steel going. Because flat-rolled steel is good money. That's, that's the bottom line. It's $12.5 billion. Uh, out of that, but it's that's definitely something that couldn't have been done years ago. You know that uh, you have a foreign company coming in buying U.S. steel. I mean that's that's like the mortal sin. <laughs> uh, you know, and I'm surprised that it's actually not more. But what you did have is that you know that run on U.S. steel. I was looking at this run. The last low was four dollars something, four dollars and fifty four cents or something. Yeah, how's that? Four fifty-four. Oh, that's sixteen. That's, no, that's, that's six, sixteen to fifty. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So we go, if we go over to Amazon, folks, you can see Amazon's up 443 this morning. Now, that's, a, that's at a yearly high, okay? Uh, bottom line, though, is that uh, this is uh, <laughs> this is another ABC structure up. Now, the cool thing here, listen to this, man. So Diamond Sports, folks, which is part of Sinclair Broadcasting, went bankrupt in March. Well, what's going on is Amazon is going after Diamond Sports because Diamond Sports, okay, has the Bally Sports Network. That's all part of it, okay? And I don't know what other states they're in, but I can tell you in Florida, right, you know, if you're either – a baseball, you know, basketball or a hockey fan, they have amazing freaking sports, man. And now they couldn't make money on it because the bottom line is that, you know, the regular TV and the channels, they're, they're their history, right? But streaming is not. And Amazon is just getting their, their fingers into this in a monster way because picture what the difference is. The difference is with Amazon particularly in sports, right? You know, picture you have a movie. Movie, you know, you, you can't break up in the middle. In sports, folks, if you've been watching it, I've, and I've watched, you know, NFL on Amazon, and what ends up happening, of course, is that what ends up happening at breaks and all that, you get a quick little commercial, you get the QR code that's on there, they're directing it right into Amazon, so they get two different things. It, all the middles are basically out, and that's what the Amazon's doing with this Diamond Sports, so it's going to be interesting to see whether they pull this off. I said, you know, hey, we'll find out. I suspect they're going to because the, the amount of sports that they can grab on this one deal is absolutely huge. Now, Sinclair 
Diamonds is part of Sinclair. Sinclair is claiming they're going to liquidate Diamonds. And it's probably, well, they're in the bankruptcy court. It's probably worth more liquidated than, you know, trying to sell. You know, because the bottom line is that I suspect it's going to be more than Amazon that will actually go after it when they actually figure out that, hold it, man. One, in one fell swoop, you get in the NFL, you get in the um, baseball, and you get in the basketball. <laughs> you know, and, and depending on, you know, your home team's on there, but on Valley Sports, I mean, you know, I watch hockey all the time. Someone was always on there. There's always, you know, hockey season, there's always a hockey game on. Always remember, folks, the bank and claw your heart out. The bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Look at him, folks.